Hi, I'm Dr. Aishwarya, Consultant Pulmonologist at Dr. Ella Institute and Medical Center. Today, I'll be talking about the black fungus. So, what is a black fungus? Black fungus is nothing but mucormycosis. It is a fungus which is mostly found in the soil, in air, in decayed uh, vegetables. So, when a person inhales this mucor, it enters into the sinus and it can cause sinus and orbital infections. And mucor can cause pulmonary mucormycosis infections and mucor can cause cutaneous mucor infections also. So why is this mucormycosis spoken about these days is uh, because of unjudiciary use of uh, steroids in COVID. As a part of COVID treatment, steroids has been administered to bring down the inflammation that the COVID is causing in the lungs. So because of this, a person becomes immunocompromised and can acquire a mucormycosis infection. So most of the post-COVID patients, that is uh, after uh, discharge from the hospital, do present with a lot of uh, sinusitis and uh, facial uh, puffiness, tenderness in the face and uh, pulmonary uh, infections like cough and uh, blood from the uh, phlegm. So these patients when examined have been diagnosed with uh, mucormycosis infections. What should public be doing to prevent a mucor infection? So once when a patient is discharged, definitely the patient has to be in a very sterile environment. The house should be cleaned properly, there should not be any damp surfaces. And uh, to prevent uh, mucor in the future, patient can do steam inhalation, good breathing exercises. If the patient's present with any cough or blood in the phlegm or any black patches in the skin or redness or ulcerations in the skin or if there is any facial uh, redness or tenderness or eye pain, these are the signs of mucor. They should come and address to the hospital immediately. So the treatment for mucor mycosis are antifungals and this will be given as IVs or as oral medications for a few weeks. So and for patients who are already immunocompromised, who are uh, known bronchial asthmatics, who are, who are on uh, steroid inhalations, or patients who are using steroids for other medical conditions have to be very careful at this point because they can also acquire mucor infections not just in COVID in general and if these patients have been affected with COVID or wherein their steroid doses have been topped up further they have to be much more careful as said if they have any of the symptoms which I have told earlier like symptoms pertaining to the sinuses or tenderness of the face and the skin or any lung uh, infections or any lung symptoms do present to a doctor immediately and rule out the mucor infection.